Kami po ay nagbabalik sa napakagandang lungsod ng San Juan. This is the Phil Oil Flying V Center where the NCA has been held aside from the NCA on tour at ating pangatlong laro ngayong biyernes featuring these two teams. The 3 and 3, Colegio de San Juan de Letra Knights at ang 2 and 3, Perpetual Health Altas. Ito po ang inyong NCAA Season 93 live and exclusive sa SNA at SNA HD Channel 166. We are also seen worldwide via TFC.TV. And you'll, you can also see us wherever you may be sa sports.abs-cbn slash livestream slash NCAA. Yan nga po, it's Uni University of Perpetual Health System Delta Altas against the Colegio de San Juan de Letran Knights. Hello and magandang hapon po mga pamilya on this wonderful Friday, August 11, 2017. Ako po si Andre Felix kasama si The Mighty Kid, Borgi Armida at nandito tayo kasama mga estudyante ng University of Perpetual Health System Delta. Hi Borgi, magandang hapon sa'yo. Good afternoon Andre. Uh, sarap, sarap pumalik dito lalo na ikaw yung kasama ko. <laughs> Alam mo ikaw talagang manlalago, ang galing mo mambol eh. Ngayon silipin natin Borgi habang uh, sa likod nga natin ng mga estudyante ng Perpetual Health. Let's take a look at the team standings right now kung saan uh, nagbago na nga ang mga ibang pwesto ng mga ibang koponan because of yesterday's NCA on tour and also the two games kanina na naganap. Ako makikita natin na Letran Knights 3-3. Ang Perpetual is 2-3. So napaka-importante itong laron to para sa both teams. Kasi sila ang possible na magkadikit-dikit sa 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th spot. And alam naman natin ang San Beda sa Lyceum mm -hmm. nangunguna dun sa top 2 spot. Undefeated pa nga ang Lyceum 7-0. San Beda naman pagkatapos ng kanilang panalo kanina ay eh, 6 and 1 pero yun nga yung uh, nagdidikit-dikit na sa gitna dami diyan yung EAC, Letran, JRU, San Sebastian and of course Perpetual Health. Ngayon naman puntahan natin ang uh, native ng Inugu, Nigeria, 23 year old, 6'11 foreign student player ng Perpetual Health Altas. Although in that loss, he came out strong. He's the lone foreign student player ng Perpetual Health. I'm talking about Prince Eze who scored 21 points and 19 rebounds in that game, Borch. Yun niya, ang kasabihan niya, iba na ang malaki. So kapag may ganito ko ang sentro, talagang malaking tulong para sa team. Nagkaroon nga siya ng 21 points and 19 rebounds. And more importantly, yung 8 offensive rebound, meaning 8 extra possession para sa koponan niya. Grabe yung 8 offensive rebounds na yun, Borch, in that game against, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, against LPU. Yung huling beses na nag na ginawa nga ni Prince Eze itong 21 points and 19 rebounds. Ngayon naman, puntahan natin ang panig ng Colegio de San Juan de Letran. Uh, it is the Stingray, this guy, a native of Cagayan de Oro, Ray Nambata. He put on a show. Grabe yung ginawa niya, Borgi, scoring an NCAA best 31 points in that game against CSB. Oo, oh, nagpakilala ka agad siya. Kasi nasa home court siya eh. So, miss court siya ng 31 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, and 2 steals. At itong importante, wala siyang turnover na na-commit. Wow, yun talaga yung pinakamalaking uh, 
nagawa nga ni Stingray. Doon sa NCA on tour, tama yung nabanggit mo. Medyo na-pressure siya sa simula Correct. dahil two points lang siya noong first half pero kumamada naman si Stingray towards the end. At ang uh, pinaka-importante doon ay panalo ang letter on contra sa CSB. At syempre, meron po kami question of the day. At hindi lang kami ni Borgie ang inyong mga kasama, kundi kasama din natin si Binibining Sarah Carlos. Hi, Sarah. Good hi, afternoon. Ollie. Hi, Borgie. Good afternoon. Of course, andito ako para ihatid sa inyong ating question of the day. Sino ang ultimate starting five ng school nyo? Ay, naku, sis, galing ako from an NCAA school, proud veteran here. Ako, basta kasama ko siguro si Borgie. Okay na yon Okay na siguro yung team ko. <laughs> si Borgie lang? Oo, kahit si Borgie na. Magaling na yun eh. Legendary na yun eh. At syaka, of course guys, huwag nyo kalimutan gamitin ang aming official hashtags. Hashtag NCAA Strong and hashtag NCAA Season 93. Pag itipit nyo sa amin ang inyong mga sagot. Kayo ba? Anong sagot nyo, Borgie? Si Borgie lang talaga. Hindi ako kasama. Andre? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Ako, siyempre, isasali ko si Kaloyloy Saga. Hindi lang siya ultimate first five dito sa NCAA. Pero one of the top five sa buong of mundo. Course, of course, of Siyempre, nandiyan din si Sam Ekwe na nagbago ng culture ng San Peda who ended a 28-year drought ng 2006. Kasali din si Arjun Cordero na siyempre, i-ano rin natin yung loyalty niya from high school to college. Yusef Aljamal also. Siyempre, ang point guard ko si Frankie Lim. Siyempre, yaki ka sa dati mong coach pag di mo sinama. Ako, dahil uh, lahat naman ng schools, eh, pinapanigang ko, hindi ako biased eh. Kung baga, kasi ikaw, San Beda ka, ako lalo mong school. Ako, ito, itong starting five ko, Siege Tantengo, Roxanne Montealegre, Princess Legaspi, Jelly May Obenya, siyempre, Sarah Carlos kasama ko sa starting five. Ah, so yung mga court side reporters. Teka, Andre, puro babae yan eh. Sino ang MVP ng puso mo dyan? Sa aming pagbabalik, ito na po ang bakbakan sa Coleo, sa Luanda Letter Knights at Contra sa University of Perpetual Health System, Delta Altas, dito lamang sa NCAA, sa SNA. Bikido, Boys Guard. Gap na gamot, Shooting Guard. DJ Ilagan, Shooting Guard. AJ Coronel, Shooting Guard. As a Prince Center. JP Galbo, point guard. Ray Nambatak, shooting guard. Jeremiah Taladwa, point guard. Gio Ambuhot, power forward. Daryl Pascual, power forward. Magandang hapon po muli mga kapamilya. Ito pong NCAA Season 93 on SNA Starting 5 for Coach Jim Walgigan and Assistant Coach Nick Omorogbe. Keith Pido, Gap Dagangon, the man in the middle, Prince Eze, and pinag-usapan natin kanina, the Nigerian uh, foreign student player of the Altas, G.J. Lagan, who's been playing solidly for Perpetual Health, and A.J. Coronel. So, may konting changes si Coach Jimwell instead of Daryl Singuntico, eh, ginamit nga si A.J. Coronel. At para naman kay Coach Jeff Napa, the same familiar five except for Daryl Pascual, the man in the middle. So, it will be J.P. Calvo, Ray Nambatak, Jeremiah Taladua, and J.O. Ambohot. Letran in blue, perpetual help in white. Ati mga opisyales, referee Alejo, referee Kawile, referee De Dios, and referee Orfilia. Andre Felix Bok, sama si Borgi Hermida, and Miss Sara Carlos at court side. Ito pong ating pangatlong laro ngayong Viernes, ikalabing isa ng Agosto ng 2017. Thank you for joining us. Letran has first possession ng Bohot. This is the offense of Coach Jeff Napa. Calvo attacks and Calvo gets it in. Ang ganda ng atake ni Calvo doon. First quarter pa lang. Ito, nakamakikset siya ng atake agad. So yung inatake niya yung defense ang yun, nakapos siya ng two points. Yung patience ng Letran in that sequence board, G, nag-pay off with the veteran point guard, J.P. Calvo, converting. Ganda nung seal ni Eze, natapit niya ang buhot. Ganda nung depensa ng Letran. Tumatakbo mga nakasul ngayon. Calvo, nice pass to ng batak. Back to J.P. Calvo says, teka lang, marami pa tayong oras. Ito yung maturity ng isang J.P. Calvo. Ito ng batak. Tumikada. He misses from the outside. Sabi mo nga, yung maturity ni Calvo. I watch him play. Nakasabayan niya si Mark Cruz. Siguro marami na siya natutunan nung nakasabayan niya si Oo, Mark. Oo, actually. GJ Ilagan. Difficult shot. Listo mo na para kay Ilagan. Para may tabla ang ating talaan. Two all. 
Ito yung isa sa mga abangan natin, si CJ Ilagan. Napaka-consistent niya. Kanina nga, nasa dugout ako ni Coach Jeff na pa ng Letran. Sabi niya, ito yung kailangan bantayan kasi consistent siya ngayong season. Nagiinit. Ito naman si Talatua para sa tres. Sa corner, wala. Nakuha ni Keith Pido. Pido, CC doesn't have the numbers. He'll wisely put it back out. Wait for his teammates. Ilagan asking for it. Now, screen by Eze. Ilagan against Ambohot. Huli ka, boy. Sabi ni Jeyo Ambohot kay Ilagan. Mahaba yung mga galamay ni Ambohot. Oo. No? No. Talatua. Last touch ng isang uh, perpetual health alta. So, ball will stay with the run. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. GJ Lagan is actually the second leading scorer of the perpetual health. Almost 12 points per game. Pagay coach Jim Walgikan. Taladua. When the season started, Borgi to si Taladua was coming off the bench. I know. Oh, magandang confidence na binibigay sa kanya ni Coach Jeff. Nagaw ni Keith Pido kay Jeo Paul. Pido has Calvo to beat. Coronel. Good stop there by Taladua. On the run is Calvo. Calvo. Ang boat. It's that Pasqua here. And masyado malakas yung attempt ni Pasqua. Ni Pascual, that is. And uh, ball will stay with Letran. Bagsak si GJ Lagan. This doesn't... Not a good sign for uh -huh. Perpetual. Kung ang kinakramps ka agad siguro. It seems like it's cramps kasi Dagangon was there. So, okay lang daw. Nag-sign siya sa coach niya na okay lang. Kaya ko to. Actually, ready na si Daryl Sigurtigo na pumasok para kay GJ lang. Eh. Pero sumento siya na okay siya. Ang bata. Baseline drive. High looper. Eze secures the rebound. Sabi ko nga kanina, Andre, iba oh. na ang malaki. <laughs> Kung ikaw may 6-11 sa team, malaki ang, malaking bagay kasi may nandiyan na yung rebound mo saka yung block mo sa kalaban mo. Ibang klase nga ng last year, may, may Bright Aquete, may Prince Eze, but Aquete, you know, Eze has been asked a lot to do this season. Ang bohot mula sa labas. Last game niya nga, nagkaroon siya ng 21 points and 19 rebounds. In the absence of Bright Aquete, nagkaroon siya ng break, nagkaroon siya ng confidence, binibigyan siya ng confidence ng coach nila sa uh, perpetual health. Ang heavier minutes na ngayon. Siyempre, uh, 28 minutes per outing. Here he is, posting up Pascual. Traveling violation. In the meantime, balikan natin si Binibining Sarah Carlos with her first report after this, this game. Fun fact regarding the, the trend nights. Alam nyo ba na mahilig sila kumain for their team bonding? Sabi nga sa akin ni Coach Jeff Napa that they like doing budo fights. And every time malayo pa ang mga basketball games nila, they like playing other games like playing frizzy and sometimes say pocket may money pa silang involved para to build the team spirit. So this is one way that they bond as a team. Back to you, Andre and Maraming salamat, Sarah. Kaya sobrang close yan. Sila Coach Jeff and his players. Kaya grabe nga talaga yung coaching staff din. Yung dinala na, you know, yung bonding culture. Yun yung gusto, yung gusto close-knit yung team. Oo, oh, malaking bagay din talaga yung mag-team bonding eh. Kasi alam mo yan, alam mo yan. Hindi oh. lang sa on-court yung bond nyo eh. Pero dapat yung brotherhood nyo outside the court din. As Pascual knocks it down from downtown. Ito yung isa sa mga abangan natin player para sa kupunan ni Coach Jeff. Uh, well, big man na siya, meron pa siyang outside shooting. Hindi ka sa labas, you know, for right. stretch four, stretch five. Okay, it was ruled as a two, so I take it back. It's not a three, just a two-pointer from Daryl Pascual. Pido, hinihingi ni Eze sa loob. And Pascual, with his hands up high, he will be called sa kanyang unang personal foul. Jeff Napa will have a few words with Daryl Pascual. And Coach Jeff will call our first time out. Anim na minuto, nalalabi, lamang po ng dalawang letra. Kami po yung magbabalik. G.J. Ilagan, pinag-uusapan natin kanina, he was, uh, he is Perpetual Help's second leading scorer. He was the target of LPU's defense in their game. In the first four games, FC G.J. was averaging 13 points, 38.5 in the field, but against LPU, in part, kado na nga siya. Kaya, he only scored 7 points, and he was 27% from the field in that game. Oh, kasi usually, pag consistent ka, maganda yung linalaro mo. Markado ka na sa kalaban mo eh. So, scouted siya noon, no, kalaban ng Lyceum. Nagkaroon lang siya ng 7 points. Kumbaga, sanay ka dyan dahil ikaw lagi ang ini-scout din dati nung mga na, panahon na, na naglalaro ka, Borgi Ermita eh. Kumbaga, unang-una ka sa scouting report, pagpunta ko, alam ko eh, dahil na-cover pa kita, pagpunta ko sa dugout, Borgi Ermita, laging ikaw ang gustong bantayan ng coach na kalaban mo. 
Oh, sobrang historic nung pagsasama natin, Andre. Kasi naalala ko, yung first year mo, ikaw, ikaw yung nagbansag sa akin ng mighty kid eh. Oh, syempre. Eh, akalaay mo ba naman? Magkatabi na tayo ngayon. <laughs> Huwag mo na ako isipan ang ibabansag ko sa akin. <laughs> Baka hindi ko magustuhan eh. <laughs> Tawagan si Pascual doon ng offensive foul. Pakalawa na yan, ni Darryl Pascual. Pakalawa na kaya oh. ito, papalitan siya. Ayun yung moving screen niya. He's called for the second personal foul. He's getting a few words also from uh, Irby Raimundo and from Coach Chico Manabat. Andre, ang laking bagay na magkaroon ka ng coach na isang Irby Raimundo. Yeah, yeah, oh. Kaya siguro na-improve din yung shooting ni Pascual kasi with the help of Irby. Saka yung confidence niya nandun eh. Kasi kung ikaw, ang magtuturo sa'yo, isang uh, magaling sa pro, Talaga maniniwala ka eh, di ba? Magaling sa, nung, kahit nung naglalaro sa NCAA, hanggang sa amateurs, hanggang sa pro. Kung baga, respetado talaga si Kirby Ray Mundo. Right. Also one of the uh, you know, great Letran players who went to the pros. Another rebound for SA. SA. Prince SA. Average niya, ha? Uh, Average niya ito. Siya ang number one in the league in rebounds per game. 16.2. Wow. Rebounds per game. Tagang on attack, he gets fouled. Tutungo sa linya. You know, if there's one guy na inaasahan ko na itataas ang kanyang laro, it's this guy. It's Gap Tagangon. Uh, two years ago, he was, of course, he still had Bright Aquetti along his side, Scotty Thompson. Then last year, wala na si Scotty, pero nandun si Bright Aquetti. But this year, I was expecting it would be Gap Tagangon's team. Kumagay, iaangat niya yung kanyang ano, but you know, it hasn't been that season. That quite season itong para kay Gab Dagangon. He's not even averaging in double uh, figures in scoring. So 7.6 points per game in 23 minutes per game. Oo nga, correct, Andre. Kanina, nakausap ko yung sa mga coaching staff na Letran. Sabi nila, itong abangan nila si Dagangon. Kasi wala pang magandang napapakita ngayon season. So, bukod kinailagan, kinapito, isang isang ini-scout na nila si Is Daganon. Napanood ko to last, last season against San Beda. Maganda yung perimeter niya, maganda yung linaro niya. Isa siya sa Arsenal na nakapagpanalo doon sa team nila na tinali yung San Beda. Here's na batak na. Oh, bagsak si Pido. Offensive foul. Another offensive foul. Mukhang kayo na batak yata ito tawag to. Ah, hindi, hindi kayo nang... Hindi, hindi kayo nang batak kay Balagasa, eh. Tinawag. So, another moving screen. Isa sa mga problema ng big man yan, pag nagbibigay ng screen, sa kagustuhan mong makapagbigay ng magandang screen, napapagalaw ka, eh. Nahabol mo yung mabibilis na point guard or kung sino man yung dumedepensa sa kakampi mo. Jarek Palanza is also now in. Pinasok na ni Coach Jeff Napa in the next dead ball situation. Bong Quinto. Come in. Tagangon. Contra kay, Balaga, uh, kay Balanza. And Tagangon fires from the outside. In and out. Mapupunta kay Balagasay. And the ball will uh, go back to Letra. Bong Quinto. Papalitan niya muna si Jay Ombohot. Bong Quinto. Also been playing well. He's a second leading scorer. Just next to Rey Nambatak for Letran. Averaging 13.8 points per game in 29 minutes. Also averages close to seven rebounds, three assists. Itong si Bong Quinto. So, vital player para kay Jeff Napa. Itong si Bong Quinto. It's Nambatak. The familiar weave offense of Letran. Calvo, what a difficult shot. Parang inagis na lang na alahoy si Calvo. Alam ko sa loob ni Calvo doon kasi 6'11 yung nasa harap niya pero na-layup niya pa rin yun ha at using, using his left hand. Sabi mo nga si Bong Quinto kanina kung maalala natin siya ang MVP ng juniors. Uh, magkakasabay sila ni Ray ng Batak. JB Mokon is there also. Luico is now in also para kay Coach Jim Olgigan. First attempt, wala. Low scoring game between these two teams. Balanza stops, pops, too strong. Nainis siya, doon sa tira niya ngayon. Medyo may kasamang gigel. Tagangon, Singon Tico. And Singon Tico, bibigay kay Yuhiko. They wanna go to Eze. Yuhiko, over to Eze. And a foul by Balagasay, holding foul. He's trying to contain 6'11", Prince Eze. Using all his 6'5", 6'6", might. Oh, 
that will help. We'll call for time. 6-4, our talaan. The mga letran, after three minutes to play in the first, coming to the bubble. Ito ang ating nga Milo 2-3 up. Galing move off the quarter. What a move there. Tubong pakulot. Oh, si JP Calvo. JP Calvo. Alam mo, nakikita ko sa kanya, yung mga point guard na katulad nila, Mark Cruz, sila, Adjo Karam. Kasi, al alam naman natin na uh, yung, yung height nila is hindi parang malaki pero yung lakas na loob nila is five eight oh yung so, kumpagay tapang so, 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 actually parang ikaw may tikit eh ganyan na ganyan ka din yung alam mo hindi ko yung pinakamalaking manlalaro sa sa floor pero isa ka sa pinakamataas yung basketball IQ and Calvo is one of those point guards na taas ng respeto ko pass first point guard but he knows when to take the, you know the big shot when to take the shot at ang daming uh, magagaling din na manlalaro ng basketball na galing dyan syempre Jeff Chan galing din Negros si uh, James Yap also. Yap. Oh, Silay City and si, ano eh, si JP Calvo, eh, Negros Occidental. Oh, I know. Dun, dun mo masusukat yung IQ ng isang player kung kailan yung tamang tira, kung kailan ah. yung tamang, tamang mag-handle ng mga situations, lalo ng pag mga Ooh. pressure. Oh, pressure. Oh, And as Quinto oh. knocks it down from downtown. And yun naman yung tamang timing. Bong Quinto with that three. He is averaging 33%. From beyond the arc in season 93, lamang na ng apat ang letran. Oo, kung may consistent sa kamila na si Ilagan, dito si Bong Quinto sa letran naman, 13.8 points per game, 6 rebounds per game, and 3 assists per, per game. Pero naman, nasa loob na rin, Quinto, umasinta, napakalayo. Quinto was feeling it. Diretso Oo, naman yung tira. Nakita ko na maglaro to, talagang... Tumitira to sa malayo eh. Meron pang isang laro to. Tumira ng ala step curry. Sabay talikod. <laughs> Sigo Tigo. Uber sa sa loob. Eze inside. Ayun na. Yung presence ni Eze. Nagpaparamdam na. Iba na talagang mahabang kamay. Bukod sa 6-11 siya. Ante, hindi kami yung wingspan niya. Parang 7-2 eh. Ay, gumamit na nga din. Bumunod na nga si Coach Jeff Napa. Lance Bacardo. Nasa loob na rin. Ang pangatlong big man ay pinasok niya kanina. He started with Dal Daryl Pascual, then Christian Balagasay, and then Bacardo is now in as Quinto gets fouled. Tutungo sa linya para sa dalawa itong si Bong Quinto with a minute and 27 remaining, Borgie. Ibang lakas na loob na pinapakita ng mga letranista dito. Kahit na meron silang matangkat sa harap na pablangkahin yung tira nila, inaatake pa rin nila. Ito naman ang ating Vivo perfect shot, perfect selfie, Bong Quinto. Nakakapasok lamang. Kanina-kanina eh, Quinto has a single three-pointer to his name. And at the line, Maui Bernabe, I'll make that bong Quinto. Maui Bernabe nasa loob na rin, uh, nasa loob na rin si King Caralipio. So it's Caralipio, Bernabe, Calvo. I'll make that Quinto, Bernabe, Caralipio as uh, Eze blocks Quinto shot. Balanza. Six to shoot. Getting that screen from Bacardo. And Balanza. Listo mo na. Alam mo, nasa ball pa lang kanina si Bong Quinto. Pero nakuha nila yung offensive rebound. Last season ng perpetual, Andre. Sila ang number one in defense. Allowing only 66 points per game. Yung kalaban nila. Sa Diwa, nasa loob na. Para sa perpetual help. Coronel, Sa Diwa, Ilagan, Yuhiko, and Eze. Good tap there by Balanza. The ball will remain with perpetual help, but our two officials will converge and discuss. Sino ba talaga ang last touch doon? Ah, nagkaroon ng foul, Andre. Nakita ko last touch si Prince Eze, pero parang naitulak siya ni Bong Quinto. Ah, kaya Eze will be at the line. Kasi itong letran, kanina pa nasa penalty yan, Borgi. Habang ito namang perpetual help, only committed a single team foul. I know, kasi kung may 6-11, I mean big man ka na ganyan kalaki, talagang wala ka lang ibang gagawin, kundi foulin na lang. Tulad nito, si Prince Eze nakaka 4 points na and 5 rebounds. Eze missing both free throws. Another minute to play, Balanza. Now directing traffic para sa Letran. Quito goes closer. Quito, nice pass to Bacardo. Wala. 
si Yuhiko. Tumatakbo ngayon ang mga nakaputi. Sa Diwa. Ibibigay muli kay Yuhiko. Sa Diwa. Eric Ilagan to stay in the corner. Here's Sa Diwa with the drive. Yuhiko will fire away. Balanza gets the board. Slow pace yung pinapakita mo. Pensa ng perpetual dun. Kung makikita mo, uh, tsaka-tsaka sila, hinahanap nila yung hanggang makakita sila ng open man na titira ng uh, basket, hanapin yung puntos talaga. Urban Lucente, pinasok ni Coach Jim Wilgigan and binalik niya si Gab Dagangon para kay AJ Coronel. So, different five, 20.9 remaining here in the first. Dagangon on Balanza. Bacardo now to Quinto. Quinto, tinatawag si Balanza. The handoff with Jeric Balanza. Shot clock is already dead. The ball is in Balanza's hands. Under 10 to shoot. Balanza finds Bernabe from the corner. Patay ang butike. And Caralipio to end the first. Bacardo to beat the buzzer to end the first quarter. Looks like it, it will count. But our officials will have to review and check if Bacardo was able to uh, release that in time, silipin natin muli. Oh, naka, nakasundot pa siya doon ng two points. It looks good. Oh, okay. Looks really good. Parang point nine of a second na bitawan ni Lance Juviel Bacardo. And with the basket counted, tingnan natin muli. We'll go back to the highlights. We'll go back to that. Let's see the highlights first. Sinimula ni GJ Ilagan para sa Perpetual. Then JP Calvo started out strong, high looping it over Prince Eze. And Calvo finished the first quarter with four points. Bong Quinto announced his presence with that three. Then Eze inside, trying to make his presence felt, dominating with his 6'11 frame. And our officials waving. Referee Cholo Kawile counted ang uh, at may foul pa. May foul pa. Oh, Bonus that's why run. yes, that's why Lance Vacardo is at the line. So they counted the basket. Three-point play pero hindi nga lang na-convert ni Vacardo. So it's a 7-point lead, 14 to 7. Kami po yung magbabalik with our second quarter. <laughs> 